What would you do if you had the opportunity to edit for a big artist like Drake? In today's video, what we're going to be doing is taking Drake's newest music video, Jumbotron, and creating a dope music video edit like this. Using my newest preset pack, the Music Video Essentials Preset Pack. In this pack, you're gonna get a ton of essential assets and transitions and effects that you can use for your newest music video. You can go ahead and check it out in the link in the description below. And I'm also gonna include a free sample pack for you guys to go ahead and try it out in the link in the description below as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, we have Drake's music video. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and just take our favorite clips from this music video and go ahead and create something super sick, about a 10 to seven second music video edit. So first thing we need to do is go ahead and pick out our favorite scenes from the video so what i'll do here is i'll go ahead and just highlight our clip scroll down until you see scene edit detection go ahead and click that and then make sure this checkbox is applied apply a cut at each detected cut point go ahead and press analyze and what that'll do is it'll pretty much make a cut at every scene switch so as you can see all our clips are chopped up like that what i'm going to go ahead and do now is go ahead and pick out our favorite selects that i want to use for our edit and be right back so i'm done finding my select so i'll go ahead and preview it for you what i'm going to do is go ahead and turn down the sound so i don't get copyright but here's what we're working with Awesome. So with those clips, I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to create something super dope. So what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and show you guys the actual preset pack. So here's going to be the newest preset pack that I created. It's going to be the music video central presets, which will get our ton of effects that you can use for music videos. So fisheye effects, low shutter effects, night vision, freeze frame and rotoscope transitions. I worked really hard on those. So you'll see those in a few minutes. And then the camera movement transitions, glowing outlines, stone burn transitions, and then speed ramp effects. It's pretty hard to make these presets, but I was able to actually do it and have a variety of speed ramp effects that you guys can use right here from 1.5 all the way up to five times faster so we'll go ahead and preview everything that you get in the pack and like i said you'll also be able to preview some of these in the sample pack below as well all right so where we're going to get started is i'm actually going to start here so what you can see in this clip is just drake dancing with his ice what i'll go ahead and do just to add a cool effect to it i'm going to go ahead and add the low shutter effect so you have four different ones to choose from i'll go ahead and just drag on four and we'll see how that looks so that looks pretty good. Let's actually preview number one. So I think I like the way that one looks better. And so what I want to do now is actually come back to this first clip and create a transition. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is we're going to nest these clips to make a 10 frame transition. So first thing you do is hold down shift. Then you press the left arrow key once to go over five frames to the left. Go ahead and bring out your blade tool and then make a cut right there. We'll go back to where the two clips meet. Hold down shift and go to the right once to go over five frames. Make another cut. Press V to bring out your selection tool. Highlight both of these clips and then press nest. And then all you have to do guys is drag and drop pretty much all the these transitions are going to be simple drag and drop so i'll go ahead and just use the camera movement one we'll go ahead and preview what that looks like so far so it actually looks really good and so next thing we're going to do is go ahead and have a transition to this next clip and so what we'll do is we'll actually do the same thing create a nested sequence and then now we're actually going to add a film burn transition so you have a few different options for your film burn transitions so what you have is the blue fire fire and then the original what we'll do is we'll just add the original to this clip we'll go ahead and preview that so it goes from low shutter to the film burn transition just like that so it looks super sick and then just to keep things smooth we're going to go ahead and add another transition we'll go ahead and make another nested sequence and we'll add the camera movement transition right here so let's go ahead and just switch it up and use 12 and we'll go ahead and preview that so that looks really good so let's preview everything we have so far so it just starts with drake with the supercar looks super sick so next thing i want to show you guys is going to be the speed ramp effects so with the speed ramp effects you can actually choose anywhere from 1.5 to 5 times so you have a different range of speeds so with this i'll just use the 1.5 and what you'll notice is that there's two presets so your ramp in goes on your first clip and your ramp out goes on your second clip so if you look at the effects panel here when you drop on your ramp in effect you can see the keyframes are towards the end of the clip and then you'll notice when you drop on your ramp out effect the keyframes are going to be in the beginning of the clip so let's go ahead and preview the speed ramp transition that we just did with our drag and drop presets. 
super sick just like that so i hope you guys noticed that just we did this all with our speed ramp effects right here with speed ramp presets i didn't have to go into the speed and duration to just the speed on any transition or speed ramp like that we just use these speed ramp presets and if you're enjoying the video so far go ahead and hit that like button it helps me out a lot and also i drop new videos every week so go ahead and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss a video and also check out my editing packs in the link in the description below if you're looking to speed up your workflow add some new editing assets to your arsenal and pretty much start editing faster and let's go ahead and get back into the video so let's move on to the next transition so what we're going to do for this clip right here is we're actually going to drop on a low shutter effect just to add some dope camera movement like that maybe slow shutter too so i like the way that looks that looks pretty good and then just to make things a little bit more dope we're going to go ahead and drop on a night vision effect so that looks great. And so I just did a hard cut right here just to switch things up. So we're not just using transition after transition that are just preset. What a preview we have so far. So super dope right there. So for this next clip right here, we're actually gonna use two different transitions. We're gonna combine our film burn transition along with a freeze frame slash rotoscope transition. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what we're gonna do. So we actually wanna go ahead and rotoscope out Drake. So if you've been following me for a little bit, you know that I like to use runway.ml for all my rotoscoping. So with this online video editor, it uses artificial intelligence to pretty much rotoscope your subject in pretty much just one click. So I already have Drake rotoscoped out right here. I'm gonna go ahead and include a link on where I did a video on how you can use AI to rotoscope your video and the link that you'll find above. So once you have your clip rotoscoped, you wanna go ahead and bring it into Premiere Pro. I went ahead and used the ultra key effect. If you don't have this effect on it, you're gonna see it's a green screen. Just go ahead and type into your effects panel ultra key drag it on here use your eyedropper tool to click the green and then what you'll have is your ultra key effect like that you can still see some of the lining you'll go ahead and change your settings from default to aggressive and if it's still a little bit too much all you have to do is just go ahead and right click copy it and then go ahead and paste it and then all those effects will go away so for the transition like i was telling you guys we're going to go ahead and use the freeze frame and rotoscope transitions that i have built for you guys in the music video essentials preset pack so here's going to be the ones that you can choose from i have about 15 that you guys can choose from and they're really sick just drag and drop and you're done so what you want to do is go ahead and have your rotoscope clip on top of your original clip and what we're going to do is just go ahead and drag out about five frames out like that so what you'll see is pretty much the rotoscope clip overlaying on top of your previous clip so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and make a cut right there and then like i said all you have to do is just drag and drop on your favorite freeze frame effect and then it'll transition super smooth like that so for this transition i just want to go ahead and use a slide in effect so how that's going to look is like this so it's just going to slide up and it's going to transition right into the next clip so that looks actually super sick but like i was telling you i want to go ahead and add the second transition so what we'll do is go down to our bottom clip this blue we're going to go ahead and create a nested sequence and then we're going to go ahead and just drag on the film burn transition like that and then you guys are gonna be able to see our combined transition so let's go ahead and preview that so super sick just like that I think that looks awesome. So we'll go ahead and move on to the next transition. So for this transition, we're actually gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do another freeze frame transition with the film burn effect. So what you'll do is you'll pretty much do the same thing. We're gonna make sure our rotoscope clip is overlapping or on top. So you can see the preview in the beginning like that. Make your cut here. Go ahead and create our nested sequence like this. We'll go ahead and delete that since we don't need that since that's the excess. We'll make a cut right here. Go ahead and highlight both our two clips nest and then just drag on your blue fire film burn transition and that looks awesome so what we'll do next is we're going to go ahead and drag on our favorite freeze frame rotoscope transition and we're going to go ahead and use teleport and left and then we'll preview that and see how that looks so that looks super sick just like that and then i just thought of something super cool that we could do is we could actually add the glowing outline effect like this so we'll go ahead and grab the blue one and just drag it on top of that so that's our glowing outline effect just a drag and drop like that and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and add a camera movement transition into this clip but with this clip i actually wanted to have some low shutter on it so let's go ahead and just add low shutter four i think that looks pretty sick right there and like i said we'll go ahead and add our camera movement transition and then i think we'll be done so let's go ahead and add a camera movement transition so let's go ahead and add six and let's go ahead and render this and preview what we've created all right so it's done the rendering so let's go ahead and see the music video edit that we just made for drake <laughs> All 
awesome. So I think that turned out really sick. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss a video.